was thinking the sun was going to be rising on a beautiful day, but look at those clouds moving. This is not time lapse. And my day's just starting. This could be the very last time I ever see this truck stop. The very last time I even come to this state. Okay. I am not standing outside. It it was minus two degrees, but it's warmed up a little bit up here in North Dakota. But that wind still makes it feel a little bit chilly and I am not going outside and I need to get this video out. What is today's video about? It's it's not about this feline here. It's, it's definitely not about her. She wishes it was. All right, so, Cat, she won't stop. She's excited about this product too. Obviously, she's not gonna move, so, well, she might. She's just, she likes being on camera. So, but I got it zoomed in enough where she thinks she's on camera, but she's not really. Anyway, so what today's video is, it is a one month after review of this awesome product. The in real glasses. Okay, I've had enough of her. Enough. Anyway, so this is my one month review after using this product periodically. I don't use it all the time. I thought I, when you see a product advertised and they show those awesome images of what it can do or what they think it's gonna do in the future. You look at that and you go, that is so sweet. You know, I, I, I will use that every day. There's, I got so many plans for that product. That's the thought I had about this, but uh, it's not true. It, it's, I don't use it as much as I thought I would, but I do play with it periodically. I've, I've probably worn it three times this week and last week, maybe two times. And I use it at least two to three times a week for the last month. So I got a pretty good idea of what this does at the moment. I have hopes and dreams of what it's gonna do in the future. And uh, let me just tell you what I think of it at this moment. And is it worth you investing $600 in? I don't know, let's discuss it. At the moment, as you can see, the product is pretty solid. It's very, very well built. The hardware is actually there. I feel the hardware is great. It's sturdy, it's strong. And this isn't the only ones they have at the moment. They also have a new one called In Real Air, which ditches the cable. You don't need the cable, which is great. Though I kind of like the cable because it does have this little hook here. So when you got it on your noggin, you can hook it and you have like a it goes around the back of your head so it's kind of like sunglasses with the strap so you don't lose them so i kind of like that and and because it's a long cable you can adjust it so that i kind of like this version of it i'm worried about the new version because you're going to be stuck using the be the built-in batteries and they're probably not going to last very long this here uses your phone battery your phones have pretty good sized batteries so they last i think these are going to last a lot longer than the new ones that are going to be coming out soon We'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, the hardware is there. And you know what? They don't look too bad. I mean, they, they don't look great, but uh, they don't look too bad. I actually wore them today in a restaurant at a truck stop. Everyone thought they were just normal glasses. They don't see the camera here, the camera there, the sensor that scans all the tables and floors and stuff, you know, to, so you can lay your holograms and stuff like that. It, you know, that, that's how it works. This center thing here puts out a grid and then it starts to slowly build as you map your space. And then you can put holograms and things like on the table or on the floor or have somebody, you know, a hologram sitting in a chair or whatever. You can do all that because of the center sensor. And these two cameras here judge, I think they judge distance and record video. 
which I will put a video in that I just recorded at a restaurant right now. Now that video, it kind of gives a good idea of what these things can do. You can see the hologram of the robot on the table and he's moving around, throwing things around. It's, it's kind of fun. Not all things look like that when you record video though. Sometimes they look like a, a, a GIF file, like you, you could do on your phone. Like you can, they look holographic in here, but when you record the video, they look like GIF files. But there is actual holographic gifts like that one you just seen and and that kind of makes this thing look really sweet especially when you put things all over the place and you're walking around because wherever you place something it stays there i can i can place something here on this table right now walk inside the truck stop over there with these glasses on come back in the truck and whatever i placed here on the table is still going to be here because this thing knows it's already scanned this as a play area and it knows where i put stuff that's pretty sweet that it, it does things like that but that's the highlight of the glasses so yeah they're really cool holograms are amazing some of the games are okay they're not mind-blowing there's no software yet that really stands out which is the problem with the glasses so as I said the hardware is there the issue is I don't know if app developers are jumping on board fast enough since I've had these there's been one major update and it made the whole UI look beautiful they did a great job with this whole new integrated UI that you, that kind of floats out here so you could scan through the stuff that you download it looks amazing that was the only update I've had in this entire month. And then if you go to the Play Store to download software, there has been no new software this entire time. You got a handful of demos that you could download from the Google Play Store and some pre-installed software that comes with it that uh, really doesn't do too much. Most of it's flat things like Instagram, Facebook, and, and you know just the normal things and it looks like you're looking at it on a computer screen a see-through computer screen the holographic fun games and stuff like that there may be three full games everything else is pretty much a demo now what's wild is this is the second generation right here there's a, the first generation was a developer kit then you have this and they're already building the third one that is wireless they're putting a lot of effort into the hardware, but it, I, from what I understand, they only have two app developers or companies willing to, uh, so far, create applications for it, which makes me a little nervous. Hopefully the independent app developers and the independent community is going to step up and create things and start putting them in the store. But there's another issue. So a lot of this stuff is downloadable through the Google Play Store. This has its own app called Nebula, which kind of integrates everything. And that's when you download something, it goes into this application, Nebula, and stores everything in a nice, clean, cohesive manner. There's so many augmented reality apps in the Play Store for Google for the phone that uh, you can't tell if it's for the phone or if it's for these glasses in the descriptions and in the titles and stuff like that, it doesn't say you know you can use on in real glasses you could use on hololens you could use on whatever augmented reality glasses you have it just specifically states you need to have an android phone you know with a camera and so much a certain processor and you could run those apps I downloaded some of those apps like the dinosaur app and stuff like that tried to run them on this through the phone it doesn't work it has to be as it's all done specifically and some of the you know there are apps that are made for this that also work on your phone but the 
the ones that are made specifically for your phone do not work on this for the augmented reality stuff. So in the future, what I'm hoping what Unreal does is whatever is in the Play Store that works on this, they automatic they, they create their own store within the Nebula app that comes with this. So you know what exactly what works with this. And possibly even a website where you could download stuff that uh, people are creating. And that, that would be really sweet. Like if there was a, a website where you can go where stuff stuck in a truck made some applications, it's not in the Play Store yet, but you could download them, check out her demos, check out whatever, and, and upload the APK files. That, that would be sweet. But so far, all the browsing of the internet, I have not been able to find anything like that. So in conclusion, would I suggest purchasing these after one month of use? I mean, they're sweet looking. They are, they're pretty fun. And they're, they're fun to use. What there is available for it, it is fun to use. But would I suggest purchasing them for 600 bucks at the moment? The hardware almost justifies the cost. It's well built, well put together. But what good is hardware without the software? And hands are still up in the air knowing if that software is ever going to get created. The, 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 the in real team that makes this, uh, as the cat is kind of putting its face on the camera up there, um, they're pretty responsive. Anytime you got to communicate with them, they'll, they'll use your images, they'll take your videos, stuff like that, and they'll leave comments, and they're, they'll, they're, they're really, they're there. But they tell you one thing, they say, oh, everything's coming, it's coming. But I've bought hardware before in the hopes that it was gonna be amazing. And all of a sudden the company goes out of business because there was nobody there to create the software. So I'm really hoping that this kicks off really good and app developers start to get in the game and start rolling with it. But there is no guarantee. So if you have $600 to burn, with no guarantee that the product's going to be amazing in another year or so, don't buy them. I, I suggest not to buy them. If you got six hundred dollars to burn and uh, you're hopeful that some that, that you could use this, and uh, you, you know in your heart that it's gonna, it's just gonna pop and it's gonna be amazing, and, and that augmented reality is the future of computing. Yeah, get it. If you're an early adopter, get it. But if you have any doubts, I'd wait, wait. There's numerous companies coming out with more headsets just like this. Samsung's got a new one coming out. I, <coughs> excuse me, I think Meta's, Meta's got something coming out. Google's got something coming out with Leap Motion. They're, they're, uh, HoloLens is out there. So there's, there's a lot of other things you can get that's already kind of got a library of stuff that you could use. The thing that's amazing about these is they look like sunglasses. The other ones look like monstrosities on your noggin. So, but they do what they say they do. This does what it says it does, but there's nothing out there for it quite yet, except for limited applications. So, yeah, that's my, that's my final thing. I love it. I'm going to keep it. And I have hopes that app developers are going to run with it. I check it all the time. I Google in real, in real light. And, and I, and I go to the play store and I type in in real light to see if anything new has been popping up. So I'm, I'm constantly on it. Like the cat is on me. Anyway, guys, that's my one month review of the Unreal glasses. I'm just a tech nerd. I like the stuff. Until the next time, hopefully down the road with some good content in non frigid freezing weather. I'll, I'll have some, you know, I'll, I'll see you there. I'll see you then. But until then, just keep an eye out for maybe a possible short now and then. Until. Just until, until the next time. Love you guys from Bismarck, North Dakota. Yeah, it even sounds cold. Me and Kat wish you fair adieu. Peace out, everybody.